Jag är intern här på Tapona Farm och jag kommer ifrån Sverige. Hello, my name is Eva. Um, I'm an intern here at Tapona Farm and I am from Sweden. I've been here since the middle of April, so it's almost uh, two months now and it's the end of my stay here actually. So I'm kind of uh, looking back towards the time I've spent here and the jobs that I've done and uh, reminiscing a bit about the times that I've spent with James and Rosa. I choose to intern here because I want to do something similar in Sweden. I think it's really inspiring and great with the CSA scheme that, and the box scheme that they are doing here. And I'm also interested in permaculture and I thought it was such a good mixture of those two and I wanted to see how it's done. I did have an urban farm in Malmö in Sweden and I've studied at the University of the Swedish University of Agriculture so this is actually a course that I'm taking. Yeah I have this uh, notebook that I keep as a diary so at the end of the day when I'm in my little caravan and uh, thinking about the day uh, I'm just writing down what we've been doing during the day and kind of um, things that I've learned or things that James and Rosa have told me about that I want to remember. I'm uh, gonna leave pretty soon so I was looking through my book and thinking about all the jobs that I've done here around the farm and I thought it would just be nice to go around and, and have a look at them so that uh, maybe if someone else is interested in coming here then they could have an idea of what it would be like. Yeah, so we're in the market garden now. It's a bio-intensive technique that they're using here, which is really nice because that's what my, I wrote my thesis on just before I got here. Uh, so I was interested in seeing how that works uh, in, in real life, kind of. And I think this is where we started somewhere here, just pulling back the tar, putting the fabric down, put the new ones in. And it's been a lot of fitting these down, the fabric down actually. Which is it's more difficult than one might think. It takes a bit of um, practice actually to get the pegs great and to get make everything kind of neat so that it doesn't blow away in the wind. Yeah, so I think and then I planted these one of the first days and uh, planted these. Wrote for this bed when the BBC was here. Oh yeah, yeah, you've yeah. been you've been on the BBC, I've haven't you? I've been on you? the BBC a little bit though. BBC broad forking. <laughs> yeah, it's been an intense, uh, in, intense work here in a way. Uh, but the more intense stuff, even. <laughs> was over here because these require quite a lot of work i think you've covered that in another video uh, that it's putting the fabric down putting the colors down and and uh, putting the netting on and everything and that was one of my first weeks here i think that i did uh, pretty much all of that area <laughs> so i'm pretty familiar with the cabbages now <laughs> And it's interesting because this is not how I have been growing cabbages before uh, but it's uh, a good lesson to learn how you have to adapt to your different pests and just uh, keep on trying to to make it work 
And well, then we did uh, the hay over oh, at yeah, this field. Right. Yeah. It was one of the first vlogs that you appeared in was yes, uh, true, cutting true. the cutting the grass here and the BCS tractor. Mm -hmm. That was fun, raking it and making piles and driving it down to the smithy. Yeah. And then I've been uh, feeding it to the goats also later on. Now it's all grown up again. Hey. <laughs> So it's been nice to also see how the farm has been changing over the time I've been here and uh, see how things are growing, <laughs> put in the ground. Yeah, the tree rows are great. I'm inspired by those. I want to have those in my place because <laughs> it's a nice mixture of permaculture and the market garden. You can actually harvest maybe a little bit easier from this than from the other part of the forest garden, I would say. But it's still, it's such a nice thing for breaking up the wind and uh, biodiversity and everything. Yeah, so we weeded this out and I've harvested some comfrey for the goats and I've made some nettle feed. This is some nettle feed that we made just two weeks ago, I think, wasn't it? Yeah. All right, let's get out of here, that stinks. Yeah, we have planted some leeks and I've weeded the garlic a couple of times. These beets I planted. My boyfriend was actually here for two weeks, so I had the opportunity to work with him uh, a lot and see how that was. some seeding. Yeah, I really like working in the college tunnel. Especially on a rainy day. <laughs> Which we've had quite a few, haven't we? We think we've seen all the Scottish weather since yeah. we've been here. This is my, my crib, my home. This is where I light my fires at night. Yeah, it's really cozy. Uh, James and Rosa gave me a, a project that I was pretty free to design. And I've actually done a, a PDC before. It was like five years ago. So, I, But I haven't practiced permaculture a lot, but I wanted to do uh, something that was a bit bit more permaculture maybe it was while my boyfriend was here we could do a bit of whatever with this patch that you see here covered in straw the fabric is not long enough to cover it so I thought hmm let's cover it up with straw as a permaculture client they requested that they wanted like a high yield of something that they could maybe feed to the animals so there was a lot of uh, cabbages and uh, beets and potatoes and some tomatoes actually and then some flour and herbs two rows of cabbages and then beets in the middle but as you can see <laughs> it's not a success because the weather has been so cold and and wet so the cabbages are pretty much all eaten up as you can see they're some of them might survive, but I mean, this one is <laughs> pretty doomed. I'm glad to have tried it. It was nice to have like a project to do from start to finish in a way. Yeah, we did some chop and drop here in the area, in the forest garden, where we are now, and uh, then I did some mulching here with cardboard and uh, some hay from the Westfield. Yeah, this is really nice. You kind of just clear up this this area and also mulch some of the trees and learn more about them as I was working uh, from James about what kind of trees they are and what they provide to the soil and um, what they can uh, provide for us as a, as a food. 
and I really like this part. It's a bit calmer and you can go here sometimes when you're tired of the intensity in the market garden and just pick some oregano or <laughs> hang out. So, and there's actually a lot of really nice plants here. So, uh, hmm? nice place. <laughs> And this is uh, where we were, me and Jonas was clearing up some weed here in the pond and the boat broke. <laughs> so it wasn't a very long job. It's so really a new experience for me to have animals like this. I mean, I did grow up on a farm. It's a new experience to have goats. Well, Rosa's told me so much about it and it's been really interesting to see her milking and tending for the goats and feeding them from a variety of great things on the farm. They've also told me a lot about the silver pasture. And this is one of the things we've moved the netting to go between the tree rows here, uh, where they are now. Uh, grazing that's been uh, interesting to see how how one can do that in a rather easy and practical way goat food and here is are the goats going to graze and I've uh, actually planted those willows oh yeah forgot about and, that yeah and uh, mulch these uh, hawthorns. Also cover the trees up with the tree guards mm -hmm. and uh, taking away there was a lot of branches and pieces of wood that we cleared out. So this place has really transformed since I was here. And it really looks beautiful now, it's like a meadow. With the branches that uh, was left over over there in goat wood, we took the branches over here to <laughs> make a dead hedge. some um, horizontal branches and uh, pushed them down and I kind of walked on top of it three or four times and Joe's, Rose and James had already started it but we built it up all the way up and then mulched these uh, tree rows that are growing yeah. next to the dead hedge which will be great when they get bigger you can see it so that was really fun doing that it's like a jigsaw puzzle Thank you for watching my Takonoth takeover video. Uh, yeah, it's been great. And now it's time for the Friday night beer with the goats. Friday night beer with the goats. And if you like this video, please subscribe and tell your friends to watch it and subscribe. Wait for next week, James and Rose, that will be bringing you more vlogs.
Yeah. <laughs>